Ladies and gentlemen, this press conference of today's is urgently called to respond to the latest constitutional monumental fraud by the government of India, stealthily carried in the current presidential rule in the atmosphere of extreme crackdown on the people of Kashmir. The government cannot amend 1954 presidential order on the recommendation of its own nominee. As you are well aware that any application of constitutional provision to the state of Jammu and Kashmir, according to 1954 presidential order, cannot be applied to the state, but only through a presidential order under clause one of article 370, after obtaining due concurrence of the elected state government. Though in actual terms, the terms which are written in that presidential order, it is the state constituent assembly in whose absence no law could be extended to the state, and all such laws extended from time to time are null and void, according to legal experts on 370, like A.G. Nurani or Aman Hingorani. Though the article has been hollowed down by easy connivance of the puppet governments and reduced to almost husk over the years, yet the basic structure and spirit could not be consumed or consigned to the dustbin of history in this blatantly fraudulent manner, throwing away to winds all the relevant procedures and democratic and ethical norms, and above all, the political commitment to the state. The concurrence of the state government, only after due deliberations, discussions, and consultations are a must before the president can issue any such order for the state. The concurrence does not mean a ritual stamp of the state government, but implicitly contains the power of the state government to reject in case it is not found suitable for the common citizenry of, by the elected government. As the state government, you know, is under presidential rule at the moment, obviously any application of Indian constitutional provision to the state cannot be made. And any such application has to wait for the due concurrence of the elected government. But the president of India, in the present instance, has committed an act of monumental fraud and deceit by applying the constitutional 77th and 103 amendment to the state by obtaining consent from his own nominee, the governor. The malefites behind presidents and governors' action can be gauged from the fact that 77 amendment is being applied to state after a period of 40, 24 years after its inception, during which period Four elected governments were in place, and they never allowed its application to the state. The order has serious ramifications, especially because previous governments have never allowed the extension of this application. This is a single step away from doing away with Article 35A. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the only one instance, there is only one instance of such a constitutional fraud which happened in 1986 Again, under the governor's rule, the president made an order under Article 370 extending to Kashmir, Article 249 of the Constitution, in order to empower parliament to legislate even on state lists, even on the matters which are enlisted in the state list, on the strength of a Rajya Sabha resolution. Concurrence to this, and within courts, was given by the center's own nominee, Governor Jagmohan. But the government of collaborators, which was installed in 1987 on the base of brigade elections, did nothing to cancel this fraud. Ladies and gentlemen, through the medium of this press conference, we urge President of India to immediately withdraw this order of application to uphold and respect political commitments to the state and constitutional norms and democratic ethic, ethics emanating from that commitment. We are, given, we are giving 15 days to the government of India and the governor to withdraw these amendments, failing which appropriate public response will be initiated with the joint consultations of all the major civil society organizations, including bar association, trade chambers, employees' bodies throughout the state, and concerned citizens of the state. This is the